Hey guys, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Solo with the Twist, where the top three comments on every single episode will spawn or take an item from me. I was just exploring the area that we chose in the last episode with the gyrocopter, playlist linked in the description down below, and it f turns out that this is a traitor. So there's a city over there, there's a city over here, and there's a city over there, and in the dead center, there's a traitor. This very well be the best build location to ever exist in seven days to die history remember what i was saying before is like i couldn't find anything this is the worst save ever oh, oh! what it's not the worst save ever it's it's probably one of the better ones that i've ever had but i'm going to see what the trader has uh but first we're going to read through some comments in first place which i feel like i may have a uh, kind of messed with myself by liking the comment but he said he you should get a free bed because that mission tab is annoying me i will sit here right now okay let's see what if i give myself a bedroll it doesn't complete the mission so i will help you out and i will complete this mission all the missions off camera you'll never have to see it again after this episode okay and we're gonna do the other three comments plus i influenced this one so i kind of feel bad but enjoy it for one more episode so the actual first place comment is get a cement mixer, but you have to say, now I can get hard. I didn't even read that beforehand. Thanks. Okay, sweet. How many, the, all the sound clips you guys are going to have. I won't even be able to, the, the, I'm going to, I'm going to end up on a list somewhere. And then second, we have get a chainsaw and shout, here's Jared, like the, the, the thing, but that's an ax. So why are you give Royal an auger and he has to shout out loud. If you can shout, I can, I can shout as loud as I want. It's my house. Drill me daddy. There's a clip of the day. Love the vids, Royal. I appreciate it. Instead, let's make it fun here, okay? As I get this camera to not be slightly tilting. That scared me. When I start using the auger, every time I pull it out, I will say drill me daddy. Every time I pull it out. And if I don't, you guys have to, t well, every time I, every time I pull it out, I have to say it. If I don't, you guys remind me and I will get rid of it. It'll make me say it. So we got auger, thank you, chainsaw, both level four, and I already forgot the other one, and a cement mixer. So all stuff that's really gonna help me build a really epic base, so I appreciate it. Also, you guys were saying that my camera, this guy up here, was taking up too much space when you would pick up items, this little corner down here would block stuff. So what I'm gonna do, big brain, I'm just gonna reduce the UI size, and then it shouldn't get covered up anymore, but we'll find out. Trader Joel, Trader Joel, how are you? Long time no see. Trader Jen, sorry. Another stranger in need. She has a female I voice. I got what you're looking for. Since when? All right, what do we got? Shotgun parts, four by tr four truck accessories, wasteland treasures, volume one, a hunting rifle, and first aid bandage schematic. None of this really is appealing to me besides the storage pocket mod. And I probably, I'm so sorry. Goodbye, stun baton. No, thank you. And uh, then we're gonna spend that money on a pocket. There we go, perfect, okay. I see some, whoa, why did it? Okay, so the UI size made it so even the hot bar is like off the bottom. I don't know if I like that or if I hate that. You know, I'm not, it's not that bad. It kind of, I mean, whoever didn't like that, uh, the quest in the top right corner is gonna be even more pissed off now, but I'll take it. But let's loot something and see if the camera's gonna cover it up still. I mean, professional YouTuber, partially royal at your service. Some would say I'm fully royal after what I just accomplished, to be honest with you. Hello there, zombie. What are you doing attacking my traitor? Okay. I hate melee in this game. I truly do. It needs to have an AOE. You need to, it can't be spot on. If all these 15 year olds playing Fortnite have hitboxes, larger than the body i think seven days to die can do it too especially when i'm playing at 60 fps which i can't take anymore i can't i can't take it all right that being said shalissa boop we're just gonna do a quick little ride through the neighborhood and we're gonna check out kind of see some hot spots to hit um but we're gonna focus on finding gasoline for our auger and our chainsaw so that way we can start on our base wow I, 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 this is literally the best, the best save, the best seed that is, that I've ever had. I can't believe it. 
Right, just gas pump and just I literally I'm gonna ride down the road and I'm gonna ask for something else and it's gonna be right around the corner. I'm I'm appalled. Honestly, I'm kind of angry that it's just such a perfect uh like a uh, seed now that I found where I need to be. Hello, zombie. Goodbye. There's gonna be zombies behind the cooler, right? Isn't that how it goes? Yeah. Haha! -ha! See, big brain. I'm gonna survive the apocalypse for a few different reasons. I played way too much Seven Days to Die. And the second reason is I give names to inanimate, inanimate, see anemones, objects. Inanimate objects. There you go, Jared, you got it. By giving names to inanimate objects, I will no longer go crazy. What the f, did I just? We're good, Never mind. I'm seeing things. I thought there was an AK and ammo in that cooler for some reason. Ooh, rad remover mod schematic. That's really nice. Except for the fact that it's a schematic. I wish I could just get the real thing. Hello? All right, so where's like the goodies in this place? I also want more gasoline. I'm pretty sure the backyard always has some more extra pumps or some oils, some oil containers of some sort, I think. So let's go, hello? Come on out. There you are. You're dead. Easy peasy. Still don't know what I want to go up in levels yet. We'll wait and see. Is there, there's an upstairs to this place or like a ladder? Oh, or does this go to the roof? Oh, okay. Does the back have, okay. So we could break down these cars. I mean, 1100 gas is pretty good in itself. So I'm not too worried. I love the M60, dude. Just a nice gun. Thanks for this. Thanks for this comment section. I appreciate it. So this must be the loot room down here then. Hello, loot room. I don't know really what I need from past gas containers. So my recording broke. I don't know how much you missed, but we sold some stuff and uh, pretty much that's all we did. I also crashed my gyrocopter, no big deal. Everything's fine. Uh, it's just stuck inside the trader currently. I don't need to show you, trust me. It's stuck. Uh, hopefully we can build the base pretty soon and then uh, we can get it out because I don't want to pick it up with all the stuff inside of it because then it all falls to the ground. We sold our gold and, and whatnot and we also stole, sold that stupid stun baton. I, you might have you might have seen me sell that already, but I sold it, it's gone. Thank you comment section for, there's a smudge on my screen. Thank you comment section for uh, giving me that piece of crap. All jokes aside, uh, we are gonna try to find a nice location to build. We're gonna chop down some trees. We are going to build something and it should be fun. Well, let's do it. Alpha 18.4 and we still got this going on. Come on now, really? I really hope that's fixed in the next one. It just ruins my immersion. Ruins my immersion and I don't wanna build anywhere near it. Cause if we do build anywhere near it, then obviously I, I forgot that Shalissa was right there. If we build anywhere near it, it's just gonna ruin my immersion. So we just gotta take Shalissa and let's, let's go. I think our best bet is just over there, honestly, just in this area. I just wanna find where it's perfectly flat from the city generation that the game does. There's like almost like a really flat square. I think this might be it. We got no trees right here in the dead center, so this looks like a good place as any, really. Just a little further up here, and I think right where Shalissa is right now, where she lands. She chose the spot. That's where we're going to build. I think this is a good spot. I think this is a good spot. All right, so chainsaw and goodbye forest. 200 frames crafting. Should be good. Uh, do we have a nail gun on me? I do. Perfect. Zombies are starting to move in. This neighborhood is not developed yet. You're not allowed. Drill me, daddy. This is gonna, it's gonna get old. But you know, you know, sometimes you just gotta take one for the for the team. Where are you? Hello. You just crawling through the chrysanthemums? They're my chrysanthemums. My chrysanthemums. Not your chrysanthemums. Okay. This is my chrysanthemums from field. All right. So that being said, uh, what are we doing? for a base. I am not entirely sure. I might just start by literally building a platform. Just a really, just a really big platform. Can I, 
Get rid of you. Thanks. Quit interrupting. I told you the neighborhood's not open yet. Okay? We can... We're just so rude, man. We're just interrupting. 1,000 HP? On a dead zombie? And I can't build here. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The seven days that I developers developed a code into their game for when I'm playing to make me suffer. Why am I building a platform, you ask? I'm not sure. I just want somewhere flat to work on and have kind of an idea be built on this platform. I don't think this is going to be our house. It's going to be a rather large home. But also at the same time, uh, the part of my heart is telling me that I want this to be the size of my house. And I kind of treat this like a zombie, like I'm going to have a bedroom, like I'm going to have a kitchen, and I'm going to like store my food and stuff in the kitchen, and that's what we're going to do. Is that, is that appealing? And then you guys can start giving me like really cool prefab items. You guys can start giving me really cool prefab items. Things that I can't craft and I can only get from you guys. I mean, this all just sounds like a great idea and I've just bit off way more than I can chew because a lot of these episodes now are going to be me placing frames like this and not having any means to actually kill zombies. Or what we could do is we could just go ahead and build this. This will be the size of our home. This is a massive house. I didn't expect it to be this big. Okay. Um, we could probably scale it down a tad. Yeah? Let's start like here. I think that's fine. Right? Like that's one edge. And then we'll take off like here. And then we'll use these leftover frames here to go ahead and just finish the platform. And then we can use the excess frames to start building our wall around our house. That's a good size house. That's a good size. Like you put the kitchen here. Like I'm going to build the, my dream house. Okay. In seven days to die. This is going to be cute. This is going to be like, like a, having a PO box in seven days to die. You guys are going to be like, you really just need like a fern for that corner. And then I just go and pick a fern out in the spawn section. That's going to be just adorable, you know? And I bet all of you are going into the, the cheat mode menu right now in your seven days to die game. And you're like, what is the stupidest effing thing I can give him? And you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out somehow. I believe in you. What the, what the what? I sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, instead of saying drill me daddy, even though I just did say it, I'm gonna avoid the situation and just hit it with a pickaxe. All right, this is the foundation for my home. It still feels way too big. Just gonna peel a little bit more off the edge here. That feels a little bit more proportional. Yeah, so we can have like a kitchen. We could have a bedroom. We could have the spare room. I don't know who's gonna come to visit. Probably nobody, cause I'm, forever alone uh so let's see then based on just kind of wall size i want like a bigger kind of like front yard so we'll do that this will be like the beginning chrysanthemums always getting in the way man move so do this for kind of like that would be the front corner i'm just gonna kind of outline it right now we're not gonna finish it or anything and probably what i'll do is i'll just kind of in my brain map out how i want this to be built and then uh you know what we actually i might want a little bit more edge on the side because so i want to plant I'll probably plant stuff on the side of the house come on get out of here zombie i told you and i'm not gonna tell you again it's not open for business yet can i can i please there we go that's that's good that's good that's good so one two three corner one two three and we'll do that over here. Corner, boop, boop. Okay. So that's symmetrical over there. And then the backyard, we can make it just as big as the front yard. That's not the worst thing in the world. All right, backyard's going to be slightly one cube smaller. And then this is how our walls will go around our house. And we'll do the front yard facing this way because that's a beautiful sight. And I'm going to chop down the trees in this direction just to kind of see into the city better. And maybe we'll have a window over there to overlook the city. And then we'll have all this and it will be all beautiful. And then in the sunset, we can watch it together and hold hands. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I don't think I really accomplished much, but probably during the night, what I'll do is I'll just like, I got, I got, I got all these trees down and then come back and upgrade as much of this as I humanly can. Uh, maybe get the cement mixer going. The cement mixer is probably going to be an outside thing. So maybe we'll put a cement mixer. Let's put them. Do we don't want them in the front yard? Cement mixer is more of a backyard job type thing. The front yard is going to have to look cute. And we can't have it look horrible with a cement mixer chilling. So we'll put you there. And then what do we need for concrete mix? That's going to be the most important for our walls. 
crush sand small stone which is easy and we can just go ahead and just get some of that mixing now and then we'll probably put a campfire back here maybe even a campfire inside the house maybe in the kitchen we'll have our our big door here which zombies will probably want to get into so maybe we'll do like a corridor like a double door or a triple door so i don't know easily defendable we'll figure out a way um and yeah try to work on some blade traps and things like that and get it going lickety split hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode like if you did be sure to comment down below three things you want to give or take from me in the next episode make sure it is not an item that has stacks we're just doing items like unless you want one of the stacked items sure if you want to give me one nine millimeter bullet fine but we're going with items that only come in ones so Keep that in mind when you're commenting, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.